what is going on everybody and welcome back to mad detailing today's video is on my sister-in-law's telluride and they're actually trading this vehicle in as we speak for a 2023 ford expedition so me and my brother thought it'd be a great idea to turn this telluride into a rally truck on his 50 acre farm and when it's raining his farm pretty much turned into a muddy clay pit so we took it up and down the road about 57 times and as you guys see it is absolutely covered in clay from front to back so yes i'll take the blame for the mud being on the outside but what i won't take the blame for is the interior it is a complete disaster i have the world's cutest niece but she is a menace sometimes and she dumped an entire 25 pound bag of bird seed in this vehicle and there's trash everywhere it's it's a complete disaster but as you guys know here at mad detailing we're gonna make this vehicle look absolutely brand new again so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel i post brand new videos every thursday at 12 p.m but that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this disaster detail After the engine bay is fully clean, it's time to remove all this clay from the outside. So I'm simply using our pressure washer. I'm gonna blast away all this clay and then we can move on to cleaning the wheels. Moving on to cleaning the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Extreme APC on the tires and fender wheels. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Iron Eraser along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean.
And as you guys see with these shots right here, the pressure washer does not do much. It still leaves behind a ton of dirt residue and bugs on the front end. So for the pre-wash, I am now using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC. It is a super versatile product that can be used on pretty much every surface of the vehicle. And I'm using it 10 to 1 diluted in a pump up sprayer. I'm gonna go around the entire vehicle, and remove all that clay residue, all the dirt, bugs, and get the plastics nice and clean. And then I can move on to foaming the entire vehicle down with our mad detailing super blue soap and a foam cannon. And I'll give the car a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber washman. After getting all the seats removed, I can now move on to cleaning the interior. And the first thing that I'm doing is removing all the trash, anything that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum. Then I can give this carpet a good pre-vacuum and that'll get it ready for the extraction later on in the video. Normally, as you guys know, I would normally pull the carpets, but this vehicle was not bad enough. So there was no need, it's getting traded in. So this detail is kind of overkill in a sense. But whenever you're trading your vehicle in at a dealership, you want it as perfect as condition as you possibly can get it because the dealership will low ball the living crap out of you on your trade. That's dealership 101. That's the first thing they do is they try to find something wrong with your trade, whether it's dirty, it's been an accident, it's you know, the scratches, dents. But the funny thing is, is when my brother took the Telluride into the dealership, because it's already traded in, he already got his new um, Expedition. They even tried to lowball him when his car was looking better than factory, which is pretty crazy. They offered him 42 grand at the beginning. My brother said, no way. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the car. It was like mint when he brought it in. So they ended up haggling to, they gave him about like 48.5. And then they try to add the difference into the new vehicle and they try to get him on the back end. It's just I don't know. Honestly, I don't really like buying a new car. It's just a pain. They, they try to get you anywhere they can. So yeah, but the first step on trading in your vehicle is making sure it's as clean as possible and going into the dealership, knowing exactly what you want for the vehicle and what you're willing to pay for the new one. Make sure you don't get scammed. I'm not saying every new car dealership out there is like out to get you, but a lot of them are. So always be careful when buying a new vehicle.
Then moving on to cleaning these beautiful leather seats, I'm first using compressed air to blow out all the tight cracks and crevices. And for the cleaner, I'm using our mad detailing leather cleaner, following that up with a leather cleaning brush. And I'm also using a steamer and I'm lightly going over the surface. Anytime using a steamer on leather or any type of plastics, you always wanna move quick and don't stay in one spot for too long. But as you guys will see throughout this vehicle, I use our leather cleaner a lot on a lot of different surfaces. It is a super versatile product that is very strong, but gentle at the same time. It is used for general cleaning. If your vehicle is not super dirty, I would reach for our leather cleaner instead of an APC. So if you guys would like to try our mad leather or any of our car detailing products, you guys can head over to www.maddetailingusa.com. I'll also have the link to the website in the description. So anytime you're cleaning leather seeds, you always wanna make sure to condition them afterwards. So I'm using our Mad Detailing Leather Silk. It is a leather conditioner that is not gonna leave your leather super greasy like a lot of different formulas. It's gonna give it that nice brand new finish.
So moving on to cleaning the interior panels, I'm using our Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner and I'm following it up with a Boar's Hair Detail Brush. I didn't use a steamer, it would have just been overkill, the panels were not dirty at all. Then I'm mopping everything up with a soft microfiber and then I'm gonna blow out all the tight cracks and crevices with compressed air.
honestly, after giving this carpet a good pre-vacuum, it probably didn't need to be extracted. I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. So moving on to clay bar in the Telluride, I'm using my Mad Detailing Clay Lube in a synthetic clay bar. I can honestly tell you since they've owned this Telluride, they've washed it maybe one time. So the amount of swirls and scratches are pretty much limited to none. And they're trading this vehicle in today. So a full paint correction wouldn't make any sense at all. So I'm simply using our Rupes 21 polisher, a red polishing pad. And it's I'm using a product that's made by 3D. It's called their 3D Speed. And it's gonna remove some swirls and scratches. It's gonna leave behind a nice high gloss. And it's also gonna leave behind a good protection.